Hi guys, welcome back to my show. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make this delicious, easy spaghetti squash dish. And uh, so people who can't have starch, can't have pasta, they still miss that taste. And actually you can have that for a substitute. And this will show you step by step how it's done. And uh, I'll see you in a few minutes, thank you. So we need cottage cheese, salt and pepper shaker, and uh, spice herbs. Uh, some cayenne pepper, cumin seeds, and uh, some garam masala, and salt, onions, garlic, and we got uh, carrot, and uh, green peppers, broccoli, and I got uh, zucchini, then I got uh, medium to uh, small size uh, sp uh, spaghetti squash. I just want to show that to you from close. It's a uh, spice spring. I love this spice. And actually, it has everything you need in a seasoning. And I can actually, I got that from uh, Canadian Tire. You'll be surprised that Canadian Tire does sell this. Or you can actually go to dollar store or you can go any grocery stores uh, and check it out. But this is something I always keep in my cupboard. Uh, something I can't live without. And it, it works. And this one is my, I call that customized salt and pepper shaker. I got black peppers, I got red peppers, chili peppers and salt. And uh, so, so you don't have to go back into the, uh, uh, the pantry to get salt and pepper. So I make it so easy uh, for myself. So all I just need a little shake and good to go. I, then I got this cottage cheese and I like the brand name Gailey um, at a 2%. And I think it's this Norka. I love this uh, cottage cheese and I will put this on anything and everything. And which I'm gonna be uh, putting this uh, towards the end with my uh, uh, dish. Um, so try try the same brand name. I, I like to stick to my brand name, uh, whatever I use in my dish. So I would have uh, the taste that I'm always uh, expecting to uh, get. Uh, hi, I'm gonna cut the uh, squash in half now, which I did, and I'm just scraping that out. All the seeds are out. So guys, I just put the butter in, uh, maybe one teaspoon each in uh, each uh, piece. Uh, now I'm gonna season uh, the, the pieces though and uh, all the seasoning I had in the plate in the beginning of the video. So you guys can actually follow that now. And, uh, and I'm seasoning that again with uh, my uh, special uh, and I'm putting jalapenos inside and um, As you I think can I'm see, pretty much I got done my here. spaghetti squash cut in half and then I spice it up and um, and I'll let you know how I did that uh, in a few minutes and uh, but I did preset uh, the oven at uh, 475 but I have this quick bake button so that would actually add extra 25 so uh, I got that that 475 and I'm gonna put this in and that's how easy it's gonna be put it in and put the aluminum paper over it so this would actually help it to uh, cook faster and so that should take about 45 minutes or so not if maybe more we will keep check checking and uh, so we got lots of time to do other stuff it's that's how easy it's gonna be so yeah guys you know if you are a mother like me I'm always constantly on the go with my kids and uh, now it's your time to uh, relax put your feet up or watch TV you got about half an hour in between or you can put the kids uh, to bed or watch TV or do your nails or something whatever you have to do uh, pamper yourself and then we're gonna stir fry towards the end and we're gonna bring the dish together with the spaghetti uh, squash uh, so that should not take uh, that long and it, it's very very easy and uh, so I'll see you in a few minutes hi guys I'm, I'm peeling the carrots now and I'm gonna uh, take only half of the carrot and slice them in pieces as you can see one uh, popped out of my uh, uh, pot and I'm gonna slice the zucchini and green peppers uh, and then I'm cut some onions and uh, throw this in and I'm cut some broccoli hi guys I'm gonna throw some uh, margarine in I always call this butter and I took about two teaspoon to three actually you can back off on the and then I'm putting some stir fry in and uh, and I'm gonna stir that and as you can see and I'm gonna put my seasoning uh, in a little bit more and my uh, shaker uh, uh, and, uh, and I'm gonna try to uh, stir that again I'm gonna put the lid over as you can see my <laughs> lid just fell right in and I'm gonna pick it up and put it on the top uh, then I'm gonna check on my um, um, spaghetti squash so guys, I took the squash out and I'm scooping out a lot of juice that was uh, left behind. 
and I'm gonna put that in a pot and I'm putting all my uh, squash into the pot with the sauce I just uh, cooked a little bit more and I'm gonna stir that and uh, um, looks good so far and I'm gonna test it a little bit to see how that tastes and I guess uh, I need a little bit more seasoning and, I, and I'm gonna add I'm adding that and uh, as you can see we're done so I'm gonna dish this out uh, in a plate Hi guys, I got the whole thing uh, ready to eat and I have my husband in the show and my little guy, <laughs> like I always say, my favorite son, mm, I love you. And today they're going to test this out and they're going to be actually pretty honest. And he's going to let me know if it's too spicy or uh, too mild or if kids can like it. And uh, so time to find out <laughs> about the truth. Here you guys, take the forks and we're going to dig in. And what I did, I actually uh, took some crackers from this dry uh, uh, something. <laughs> crackers, pepper, and it has nice flavor, so that would be my <laughs> crunch. So here we go, guys. Time to find out. Cheers. Salute as a Italian. Salute. As a yes. salute. Salute. <laughs> yes. Mmm, <laughs> honey, honey, honey. Hey, it's pretty good. It's a little spicy, but uh, I, uh, if you guys don't like too much spices, and you guys can actually back off of the spices, but it's a great dish if you uh, would like to have a little bit of kick in your food, and I think it's a perfect dish, and uh, by eating this, you won't feel guilty because this is just like pasta. So because, gonna... because we're a close-knit family, we don't mind sharing the same plate. So, so Justin, what do you think? What do you think, Justin? Yeah, tell Honest... me, what do you think? <laughs> Honestly, it's good. So what I did, I actually topped it up with the cottage cheese and a little bit of the sprinkle of my spice. And then I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna put this on my cracker and uh, and I'm gonna actually put that right now in my mouth and I'm gonna show you the final, mm, I can even talk, it's just not good. <laughs> Make it at home and then and enjoy it. Thank you very much. Hi guys, I just want to share something with you. I had this scar uh, in my closet for years and uh, it was so wide, it was too bulky and never came uh, any handy until I bought this dress. And I just want to let you know that you know sometimes you can actually find a lot of things in your closet and uh, so what I did, I uh, was so wide and I cut that in half and I used one part of the scarf uh, actually for my scarf, one piece and the other piece actually I used that for my headband and if you can see that I tried to create that summer look and I think I'm ready to go to the beach and uh, so please always uh, try to go into your closet and see if you can find something and try to put it together, thank you! I love this dress and I got that from Marshall. Guys, if you haven't been there, go check it out. It's a great store and it's not even that expensive and there's a lot of times you can actually pick up good bargains. And uh, so check it out, but I'm going to keep doing that. It just feels like a little girl. Thank you. Uh -huh.